hello students welcome to the next lecture of the network security we are dealing with the uh, last unit of the network security and in the last lecture we talked about the case tools their advantages disadvantages and the architecture of the case tools so if you remember that we have uh, seen that there is a layer of the case tool architecture there was a layer in the architecture and there were uh, functions of the case tools to provide configuration management so we'll have to study this configuration management in detail so let's talk about configuration management today so what we mean by configuration management uh, basically configuration management is the process of tracking and approving changes to a system it involves identifying controlling and auditing all changes made in the system it can address hardware and software changes network changes or any other changes affecting the security so once we have developed a system uh, as uh, the time passes may the system require some changes that uh, must be adopted uh, so that the system uh, continues performing well in the market or wherever it is running so in that case uh, this can also be uh, because of the changes in the hardware changes in the technology changes in the requirement changes in the network scenario <coughs> any could be the reason so because of these reasons the software needed to be changed <laughs> and uh, a major change in the software is known as a configuration change so whenever the configuration uh, needed to be changed in a software system it is uh, managed by configuration management <clears throat> so configuration management can also be used to protect a trusted system so that uh, no unauthorized changes are done no ineffective changes are done it should be done under the control uh, depending upon the requirement and uh, keeping in mind the security of the system also so the primary security goal of the configuration management is to ensure that the changes to the system do not unintentionally diminish the security this is the main reason that security should not be compromised another goal of the configuration management is to ensure that system changes are reflected in current documentation to help in migration or mitigation the impact that a change might have on the security of other systems so it is basically uh, applying the changes the valid changes authorized changes and informing those changes to the other related parties or other related systems so configuration management is a discipline applying technical and administrative uh, direction to the <coughs> documentation functional and physical characteristics of the configuration to manage all the changes and their characteristics and record and report the status of change processing and implementation so configuration management also involves the process monitoring version control information capture quality control book keeping and an organizational framework to support all these activities <clears throat> so let's talk about the primary functions of the configuration management so uh, the primary functions are to ensure that the change is implemented in an orderly manner through the formalized testing whatever the changes are done to the system it should be in orderly manner it should be implemented uh, in proper order and should gone through proper testing without testing these changes are not allowed to be implemented in the system to ensure that a user base is formed and uh, every concerned person and user is informed about these changes to analyze the effect of the change on the system after implementation whatever the changes are done whatever the uh, effect have been made into the system these need to be uh, analyzed once it is implemented obviously the analysis is a major concern is related to the security 
<coughs> the next uh, purpose or the next function is to reduce the negative impact that the changes might have had on the computing services and resources. It, it may be possible in some cases whenever we perform any changes, uh, it gives a negative impact onto the performance of the system, the current performance of the system. <coughs> so, uh, these are the generally accepted procedures that support the change control process. One, applying to introduce a change. Second, cataloging the intended changes, scheduling the changes, implementing the changes and reporting the changes to the appropriate parties. <clears throat> now, let's talk about the procedures uh, that are the components that can also be considered as components of the <clears throat> configuration management. One, configuration identification. Then next is configuration control, configuration status uh, accounting, configuration auditing and documentation change control. So these are the major components of the uh, configuration management uh, system. So this is a configuration management process diagram that helps you understand the relation between uh, audits, environment, management, change control and uh, status reporting. <clears throat> so it consists all the functions in center, the configuration management surrounded by the environment, the audits, by the effective change management and uh, the status reporting. What we mean by configuration identification, that is uh, decomposing a system configuration into identifiable and understandable, manageable and trackable uh, units and these units are called configuration items and this decomposition is known as configuration identification. Configuration control means ensuring that all system changes are approved before being they are implemented. Configuration status accounting, uh, this is a documentation that status of the configuration control activities that records basically these activities and provide the information needed to manage a configuration effectively. It allows managers to trace system changes. Configuration auditing is the quality assurance component of configuration management. It involves periodic checks to determine the consistency and completeness of the accounting information. And finally, the change control. It is an important uh, to update all the relevant documentations when system changes occur. Changes can be into the system infrastructure, systems security policy, uh, can be in recovery and uh, business continuity plans, can be in facility environment changes. So uh, that's it for the day. Thank you so much.